I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Out on the ocean, the waves they do sing of a ship that's as bold as the spring. With its guns blazing bright through the darkest of nights, the HMS Daring, she's a spectacular sight. Oh, daring, oh, daring, fearless and free, cutting through waves, queen of the sea from the north. This is Ripper here because you're doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Daring and the power of what it can do. Again, Daring is one of my favorite destroyer lines of the British uh, Royal Navy. It's really very, very powerful. Before again, like, subscribe, bubble, and below. Appreciate all the support of the channel. If you uh, want to support the community and uh, help us build what we're doing here, uh, can't thank you guys. Check out the buttons at the bottom below. Help the algorithm out. And as always, appreciate all the support. Having fun learning about stuff, making a great community, and having fun at the same time. So let's take a look at the Daring Tier 10. Uh, Her Majesty's Royal Navy's uh, Tier 10 Destroyer line. Uh, and it definitely is... In my personal opinion, one of the best all-around destroyers out there. It still holds up to this day with the meta and everything the way it is. And uh, currently being radared by the Petra there out to 12 kilometers. So always keep that in mind when you're looking at a ship. Know the ranges of the destroyer. If you don't know what they are, hit tab and then highlight the ship. And you can find out what their abilities are. And then, of course, right there, slamming on the brakes, turning away. And you can avoid right there the salvo of the shots. Petra only has about a two salvo lasting radar so it's approximately well, give or take about 12 to 14 seconds somewhere around there and then that's you knowing that I mean, it gives you a little bit of peace of mind at ease when you're maneuvering your destroyer around so as you can see right now this is a just standard game uh no cap points no arms race no nothing so you're really just you know kind of uh figuring out where uh where ships are at and you're not rushing into your death and that's kind of like how i play it right here uh, notice the first shot right here is the submarine which is i'm not very understanding or i'm not understanding that is why he's not uh, going underneath the water and he's just staying on top of the surface and allowing us to shoot now i thought he was i was leading him right there and i thought he was going to keep going but he got stuck actually he actually grounded so we're going to take this opportunity right now and uh eliminate a submarine and boom look at that right off the map first blood first kill and that is a splash one in the beginning of the game. Taking out a submarine is always, always, in my personal opinion, a great, just like killing a CV, it is a great, great feeling to do, eliminating that cancer out of the game. And uh, like I said, it is, uh, you know, very, uh, very, very soothing to, to do. So I don't know if you guys share the same experience, but for me, as a destroyer player, yep, sinking a submarine in a carrier is very, very um, gratifying. All right, so we're taking a look at the Rhode Island here. Uh, he has a shot right there, slamming on the brakes and a hard right turn or slight of a turn, see if it works. Yep, in the smoke, he can't hit us. And uh, yeah, I like the Rhode Island. It's available right now to, to going on the Independence Day festival thing. Uh, a lot of money, a lot of doubloons. I know I spent a lot of money on it when it first came out at the beginning, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, it is a powerful, powerful battleship. I, I do enjoy it. Uh, right now, it's starting a lot of fires on him. He's getting smoked up by the gearing, I do believe. Yep, there's the gearing smoke out there. So we're going to we're going to uh kind of egress our smoke we don't want to sit in smoke a hey, tip for a good destroyer player do not sit in smoke for long periods of time because they are a torpedo magnet as you're going to see here on the left in a minute gearing saw my my uh smoke and guess what he probably shot torpedoes at me right Yep, man, there they are. You would have guessed right. So, again, we're always on the move, always staying unpredictable. And then we're also spotting, again, we're out in the front. And with, like the submarine's doing, we're out in front, spotting for a team, calling out shots. And we're going to also start fires. He already damaged Khan, so we're going to see if we can start another fire right here. He took a bunch of torpedoes. And yet, like I said, Daring is very, very good gun power and uh, starts a lot, a lot of fires. Now, his guns are looking at me, right? So you have to be Jimmy on the key right there. As he fires, you slam on the brakes, turn hard left or turn hard right. Change the vector of your ship right there and you can throw out a lot of shots. Notice we did not take a scratch so far. Already seven minutes in the game. And look, we are flawless victory right there. Nobody is, uh, we haven't taken a lick or scratch on our ship. We want to keep it pristine, nice and neat. He takes another shot right there, so we're going to slam on the brakes. Hard right turn, take, watching where the shell uh, trajectory is, and that should be enough to dodge it. And boom, splash two. He goes down. Third, second kill of the game right there. 
And again, power of the Destroyer out in front. Again, that is why you are there. You are a leader for the team. You are a uh, force recon spotter, advanced uh, frontman, point, whatever you want to call it. You are out front, leading from the front, taking shots, t uh, drawing fire, spotting for your team, torping the team, keeping the Destroyer at base, spotting for torpedoes. You're doing everything you possibly can do. You're also a quick reaction force. As you see right here, we were losing our home base right there. And you notice that battleships are still just slow to turn and maneuver, but the destroyer player can literally readjust, reassess, and go back to where the threat is at right now. The play will be at our home cap. We do not want them to cap, so we're going to go ahead and use our, our um, RPF indicator to figure out where is the nearest threat. Obviously, right now it's Columbo, so we're going to take him out first, and then we'll probably spot the destroyer or something else out there that is providing spotting cover or smoke and torpedoes that for the enemy team so right now let's see if we can get another fire going on the colombo we are using our smoke as a precautionary smoke screen to make sure we're not getting shot at and he goes down right there again egress the torpedo smoke screen as fast as you can because you don't want to be a torpedo magnet okay rpf is locating uh, something about about 11 o'clock off our bow right there I believe in and it's still capping our our home point so I'm calling out for our team hey look I'm spotting I got something right there something is um, you know capping our spot let's keep our attention focused there incomparable get shot at by Republic yep he goes down right there so now right here is where we need to be very careful we could still lose this game and we have to make sure that we eliminate the two destroy the destroyer and the submarine that are over here so I think the submarine is to our left and I think the Shimakaze is in that smoke to our right so we're gonna have to make a decision of how we're gonna do this submarine if I get within less than three kilometers his torpedoes won't do as much damage so i'm going to focus on the shimikaze because the shimikaze has more there he is right there so we're going to focus our attention on that he's got torpedo power that's very very deadly so let's eliminate him as much as we can he is in reverse right now red circle above means he's got full reverse so let's see if we can get some shots and reset the capper there that's what our job is and now he has nobody spotting for him. So that's a good mechanic to know in the game. If he's in the smoke and nobody's spotting, he can't see us. If submarine is underwater, he's not spotting us. So he doesn't. nobody knows where we're at right now, so except for their RPF location finder at the top right. You can see we're located. That's okay. Right now we're going to rush the Shimikaze. We got Hydro up. We know where he's at. Ooh, and he takes a hit. He goes down. Way good job. See, again, don't sit in smoke long periods of time, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to get torped. So right now, submarine Thrasher is getting shot at right now. And probably he's recharging his batteries because he can't go underwater. We're going to use this opportunity to shoot as many HE shells as we can, take as much damage. And then if he gets damaged and has oil slicks, we can see where the oil slicks will be going. We have 32 seconds of hydro left, so we're going to use as much of this time as possible because we need to spot this uh, submarine. Now, I have to get within two kilometers uh, to spot the submarine with hydro. So let's take a look. Can we get within two kilometers? And that will not only spot the submarine, but allows our enemy, or, or sorry, our friendlies to drop torpedoes on it from the battleships and the cruiser. So like there are. I'm doing my job. I'm spotting the submarine, even though that's really difficult to do these days, but I'm drawing, driving within two kilometers here. So he can't really do much. He's not sideways like I talked about in my last videos. Like If you're sideways to it, on the side of a submarine, he can't do crap because his torpedoes only come out the front and the back of his ship, right? So stay to the sides of submarines. I'm going to drive right over him, drop some depth charges. Again, Daring drops a lot, a lot of depth charges, so I like that a lot. Just dropping them all over the ship. Boom, there goes one, two, three, four, five... And boom, splash three. The uh, submarine goes down, and he is out for the game right there. And that's pretty much it. So we did all our job right there. We reacted. We came back. We killed the destroyer or spot destroyers. We uh, do the best we can to kill submarines as well, and uh, we are pretty much mopping up the game at this point. So daring, what do I th think of it? It is a very, very powerful destroyer. Awesome. I definitely recommend it. It's in the tech tree. You can grind it out. It's got smoke, quick smoke. of The the, uh, the British line of quick smokes are really, really awesome. Hydro, not much. It's just they're spotting uh, destroyers, and I saw there spotting for uh, DDs. We also have heals, which is very good for a gunboat DD. The gunpower reload is awesome. The AP is devastating for the British line. I like their AP. Great in, in impact angles uh, let's see what else uh, the guns are low caliber though 113 millimeters so uh, actually some the he shells do not pin the side armor of the 21 millimeter gearing uh, so that on the gearing in the middle section there's a 21 millimeter armor um, I guess you say section so these guns these, these shells do shatter at that um, that range so you got to use AP on them so you got some of those things you got to keep in mind for higher caliber guns you don't have to worry about but with the daring you got to keep in mind some of those factors it does not pin uh, the 20 millimeter armor or above because of the planning, because of the gun calibers, 113 millimeters. So there we go. We spotted, smoked up Prussian, and we are still undamaged. 24,300 right there. I mean, to go a whole match without taking a hit, 
pretty, pretty good right there, in my personal opinion. Uh, very, very hard to do. But anyways, here is the uh, gearing last player on the map. So we got the Hydro up. He's pretty much done for. This is just uh, mopping up the game right here. And we're going to switch to AP right now because, again, I know my caliber, my guns do not penetrate his 21 millimeter side armor unless I use AP. So right there, switching to AP. And now we're kind of like a, you know, front turret only thing, kind of like a druid. And it does just amount of uh, power right there. And we take some damage. I would actually say we take killed him first before he hit us. I don't know. We'll take the replay, replay of the video, but I'll call it a flawless victory. Pretty, pretty awesome right there. But anyways, four kills right there. Look at the power of the daring right there. Only doing 70,000, but very, very impactful. Killing destroyers, killing submarines, you know, killing battleships, doing everything in our power. And right there, top three of the team right there. And we did a lot, a lot of firepower. Rhode Island, Thrasher, Gearing, U50401, doing every single thing we can. Uh, do, oh, actually took out two submarines? Wow. I didn't even realize that we did that. I, would, I totally forgot. I spaced out right there, guys. But it was just having so much fun with the daring definitely recommended right there very very powerful starts a lot of fires good depth charges um definitely high, very good on the guns i like the guns a lot right there anyways it is a lot of fun anyways making a great strides in the daring let me know your thoughts what do you think of the daring line as always i hope you enjoyed the videos hope you got something out of it let me know if you like the video support the channel and as always if you see me out there say hi and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon stay safe cheers